earthquakes in a fault line in the for example in the uh, Grindavik Rift Valley means crushing of the rocks rocks having friction against each other there is a barrier something is stopping them to move so the fault line creates earthquakes the earthquakes over time are gradually subsided they're becoming reduced in the depth and also uh, strength and you can see that the waves of it almost has passed and now we are in a quiet period what that means is that the magma is able to rise from the uh, reservoir to near the surface without much uh, barrier nothing is stopping it and that means the eruption happens something like what we had in previous cases We are not yet at that stage. What we are, we are seeing is the entire Grindavik Rift Valley is a steaming. It is turmoil. And you can actually trace the fault line, the fissure, that from the south to the north extends in the middle of the Rift Valley. You can see that here steaming. I mark the landmarks. This is the Fagades fuel. You can see it there uh, on top of the horizon. And Grindavik Rift Valley is marked. K1 volcano and the jet, that's the big pressurized uh, eruption that we had lately. And all of this annotated for you now here. What we are seeing also is a slight uh, downfall in the GPS data as if the land is subsiding. That happens when the magma is rising to the surface. So the land falls down when it loses its load. We will have to wait and see if this is real or it needs an adjustment. But at the moment, my prediction is still holds valid that we may have the eruption by around the 23rd of February. There are other predictions that we may have it in the 14th of March, but yet we have passed the lower threshold for the eruption. That means any eruption will happen may be very pressurized. Something like the previous eruption that we had in the northern extreme of this uh, fissure eruption area. But to be sure, we have yet wait and see. Reality as always will be a surprise to us as it was in the past.